Hello and welcome today on BOI Weekly. Bank of Industry boosts support for micro, small and medium enterprises in the country as it lends to Nigeria's premier non-interest financial institution, Jai's Bank. The three billion naira facility is expected to help businesses at the bottom of the pyramid gain access to finance, increase production capacity and create more jobs. We'll bring you the check presentation ceremony in the course of the program. Also on the show today, federal government in partnership with state governments, the Bank of Industry, Nigeria Exports Import Bank, Nexim, Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, NAVDAC, launched the Shared Facility Initiative in Oyo and Bochi states. The Shared Facilities Initiative, derived from the MSME clinics, provides the opportunity for groups of small businesses to rent and use government-installed processing equipment at very affordable costs. This saves them the trouble of having to procure such heavy equipment by themselves. We'll bring you details of this and more in the course of the program. I'm Kaya Dialandi. Welcome to the show. In a bid to further pursue its financial inclusion drive in supporting petty traders and micro-entrepreneurs at the bottom of the pyramid, the Bank of Industry has extended a 3 billion naira loan to Nigeria's premier non-interest financial institution, Jai's Bank. With this move, the Bank of Industry hopes to reach petty traders and smaller businesses that may not be captured within its own customer base through Jai's bank. The deal was sealed during a brief check presentation ceremony held at the Bank of Industry's office in Abuja. Members of both the Bank of Industry and Jai's bank management teams meet and greet. Once everyone is settled, the executive director, SME Bank of Industry, gives a brief background to the BOI bottom of the pyramid scheme from which Jai's Bank is benefiting so as to lend to small businesses. Bottom of the pyramid is known to everybody as those that are underserved, underbanked, and therefore have no way of getting credit facilities in most cases if they are not helped. We started this project and uh, to date, we, have, we are in this partnership with 16 different financial institutions, and we've disbursed over 3.8 billion. With the 3 billion we are disbursing to Jaya's Bank today, it means this project would have gone to 6.8 billion. We have also online nine different financial institutions that we are also partnering with to disburse 5.1 billion between now and the end of this quarter. This will move our disbursement from 6.8 billion to over to about 12 billion. Wondering 12 billion. Wondering how these funds will get to the intended targets. That's where partner financial institutions like Jai's Bank come in. We are only in 24 states. And even in the 24 states, we are only located in state capitals. We can't reach the people that we're supposed to reach. If we're in Bauchi office, we can't reach the people of Azare easily. We can't reach the people of Tapa Alewa easily. With Jai's Bank that is now all over the country and doing an excellent job, we believe that this is something we should do. And that is why today we are, we are, we are, we are handing over the check of three billion so that they can now use their own manpower, the penetration they have, the understanding of the customers they have to reach those that ordinarily wouldn't be able to get any funding. On his part, the MD CEO, Jai's Bank, appreciates the Bank of Industry's gesture, saying BOI's bottom of the pyramid initiative is centered to Jai's Bank's reason for our existence. Although the Bank of Industry is very gracious to have given us a big line, this aspect of the line is the most interesting and the most significant to the, our bank. And we thank you very much for uh, agreeing to give this facility 
and to also modify the transaction dynamics. He then assures that Jai's bank would judiciously implement the intervention. On behalf of the board and management of Jai's bank and my colleagues here are my witness that we will, God willing, implement this um, intervention so that maximum value will be obtained uh, by the stakeholders that were meant to benefit from it. Jai's bank also promises that women groups would be favored in their disbursement considerations, especially at the micro level. At the very micro level, we are intervening to uh, women groups uh, using um, agency product, which is a profit sharing uh, um, product, to organize them in group of five, six women to provide financing at a very low uh, cost to, to them and also very flexible arrangement whereby we can uh, monitor and ensure that their profit is what we share. Uh, and also we share their losses. So uh, for us in JAIS, this is very significant day because it is also a support to what we have gone out to do. And we want to assure you that uh, at the anniversary of this facility, um, after full disbursement, we will be able to give you a full report of the type of person that benefited and the type of impact so that it will help in you are also reporting and our reporting. Mr. Shikarao goes further to encourage Jai's bank to look beyond interest and profits, but to partner with the bank of industry to make funds available to as many beneficiaries as possible. He believes this move would have a far-reaching impact. Let us partner together to make sure that the people that have been left behind are included, are served, are banked, so that they can continue to grow and in the end what we're looking at, looking at is the development and growth of our dear country Nigeria. The most interesting thing about Nigeria is that when that Nigeria is developed, other African countries are developed. We have customers that are in Kano that are serving most of the West Africa and therefore developing Nigeria's economy, developing the entrepreneurs in Nigeria is developing Africa in, in totality believing in the fact that development, the development of an individual is determined by the development of all the others that he or she is directly related with. We are directly related with the rest of Africa. And therefore, developing Nigeria for us is not only restricting our performance, our development to Nigeria, but it is extending it to the rest of West Africa and to the rest of Africans. Without saying much, uh, I think, like I said, this is my comfort zone. It's something we are used to. It's something that has been very beneficial to us and to the commercial banks and microfinance banks that we are partnering with. And we believe that with the focus of today's Jaez Bank, we are comfortable that this three billion will go a long way to assist Nigerians. Now the door is open. Finish with the, th uh, the three billion and come back for more. Thereafter, a question arises about how Jai's bank hopes to make profit and repay its loan with the Bank of Industry, since it's a non-interest bank. And Jai's as a bank is not also a charity organization. It is a business profit-oriented um, organization. The fact that we don't charge interest does not mean we do not engage in commercial transactions. What we do is we avoid a transaction that will generate interest. Um, when someone comes to us and he said he wants a loan, we ask, what do you want loan for? The money you are asking for, what do you want? Because you, people don't just take money and keep and look at it. They need money because they have some need, either um, a lifestyle need because they want to have, buy a house or they want to buy a fridge or the, it's uh, because they have a company or a business that they want to develop. So we ask these questions and then we find the need. So we address the need 
as a commercial institution. We, we buy what you want and we sell to you with a profit. We buy what you want. If it is a durable item, we lease it to you and you pay rentals and you buy the, pro the property eventually from us. So the rentals become our profit, the markup becomes our profit that um, we use to uh, pay for our expenses and then uh, the remaining is due to uh, the shareholders or the depositors of the, of the, of the bank. Uh, so uh, our arrangement with the uh, bank of industry, uh, they respect uh, the arrangement. We structured it in such a way that we will be the agent of bank of industry to do this buying and selling and also have a commitment to come back to them with the margin that they require, the required rate margin, which equates the interest that they would have charged uh, other uh, uh, commercial banks that uh, work on the basis of interest. So it is not that we will uh, take the money and give it to charity and return exact, I mean, and give it without charging any a uh, markup or any profit and then bring back the same amount. They will not accept the same amount. They will accept that amount plus the agreed rate of return that we have signed off on. So this is how the arrangement is and this is how we also operate. It's not that we don't make uh, income, but we don't charge interest. Okay, no, After the speeches, the Bank of Industry presents Jai's Bank with a three billion naira check.